morning, my sweet friends. Happy Tuesday. I'm hanging out with Lane today. We're gonna do some shopping together. I'm so excited. I think she literally just arrived, so I should probably go let her in. I think we're gonna go to TK Maxx, do some Christmas like decor shopping. I need to restrain myself a bit, maybe like, you know, only get a couple things. I have some things in my head that I want to get. Now that I've set up all my other decor, I kind of know like some gaps that I want to fill. But TK Maxx has such great Christmas stuff, so I need to make sure I just, you know, be realistic with myself. I was listening to Taylor Swift. Yeah. And I was thinking about what I would want for our surprise. <gasps> we'll have to chat about it. Say hi, hi everyone. Hi. Everyone um, say hi, Bestie Lang. Okay, what I wanted to show you. Mm -hmm was that I bought Amanda Rachley's digital planner. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and it's so gorgeous. Oh, I'm excited. So it's like this, right? And you can color it in. It's literally a coloring book. Yeah, and then it's, planner. yeah. Oh, wow. Isn't that oh, so I cute? Enjoy that. That's very fun. And it comes with a sticker book. <gasps> Oh, you can color she them really in. She popped off on this. Yeah. Wow, we love Amanda Rachley. I have it burning know. over here if you I'd would. love to sniff it. Yeah, I feel like it's a fun little kitcheny smell. Because it's like, I'm baking, but I'm not really baking, you know? Oh, that's yummy. <sighs> so you have a little mini one. Oh, thank you. Sure. Is it okay? Yeah, absolutely. I would love to buy today from <gasps> TK Maxx, like a little A little friend. friend or something. A little Christmas friend. Maybe I need a gnome. Maybe you do need a gnome. This guy's from TK Maxx. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, I love this one. I'm obsessed with that. Oh, uh, this is really fun too. <gasps> it's a giant bauble. Oh, that's so cute. Wow. Yeah, that's very fun. Oh, wow. Very soft. <gasps> wow. Wow. I love how that feels. See, even like that is like very subtly festive. I think I want a greeny one because I have green pillows. Oh, wow. How's that? Oh. It's gorgeous. It's a bit too much green. I think I would love white with green, personally. Oh, this one's all white, but it has trees on it. That's quite nice. That's giving me. Yeah, that one's cute too. I want one more Christmas pillow if they have something cute. Hmm, I want something with a bit of green on it. Oh, Georgia. So that's kind of fun. It's a little small. See, this is kind of fun too. It's a bit too red for me. I'm not like obsessed with any of them. I like that one. What is it? This is. Uh, I have no idea. What does it say on it? It looks looks very you. A bow and a hydrangea. Oh, look at the little house. Okay, that looks fantastic for you. Do you enjoy? I think that's kind of more the vibe. Oh, that's very soft. I like the brown, but I just think it's Christmas time. You know what I'm saying? I do. And it can be reversible, can it? Yeah. Yeah, that's absolutely gorgeous. I love that. Oh, did you perhaps need a little glass of mushroom? I guess they didn't sell. Oh, should I buy this blanket? Those I feel like out of all of our friends, I'm the person that's the least likely to tell you to buy something. That's true. So if I'm saying yes, that's true. I do really like it. It's very soft. Love it. I think you'd really enjoy it. I love all of the little trees. <gasps> Stop! Collecting the letters to Santa. These are so cute. It's not giving Christmas. Oh, I really love that. It's mango ice cream. <laughs> Yum! That's a cute little Christmassy. Oh, I enjoyed this. Oh, guys. No, when I say that it smells like you're baking cookies. I know it's a cannoli candle, but like chocolate chip cookies. Maybe I just need it. Maybe you do. Wow, this candle <laughs> sticks are quite nice. Are you okay? Yeah. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> My tablescapes. <gasps> there she is. That's a little cutie guy. You're not allowed to buy those. So. I know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's a lot cracker jar. Like, what do you put in it? Um, <laughs> uh. <laughs> Measuring cups. Wow, it looks like a mailbox. Get yourself to TK Maxx. Like a little mini one. 
I didn't even see that little guy. It's a cake stand, but it's a nutcracker. I'm obsessed. No, is it Santa? Oh, I don't know. It's like an in-between. It's a Santa nutcracker. I'm obsessed. But again, you just like need to, isn't that so cute? Yeah. Oh, oh my god. Take a shot every time we say cute. Actually, don't. You will not be doing that. Oh my gosh, I'm just having so much fun. Oh, no. oh. oh you must. You put back the Guys, we have some things to show. We had such a fun time. Yeah. We both got a, well, a jar, a cookie jar. Yeah. Was yours a cookie jar? I think so. They wrapped it up nicely for us. Look how cute our cookie jars are. Who's has it? Let maybe show them a little closer. A little nut, a uh, nutcracker. Mr. Nutcracker. I love him. So cute. They're actually so cute next to each other as well. Yeah. Uh, little friends. And then oh, we both also got a blanket. This is the one I got. Wow, we really just like same thing, different fonts, aren't we? Yeah. We really didn't even mean to just. That's gorgeous. That's gorgeous. I really love the feeling yeah. of yours. I think if they had this in a green, I could have gone Today with that. is like such a good blanket day. Today is a, per it's really rainy today, by the way, guys. Like, and they're both sitting. reversible. Is yours, yours yes. is right? Yes. Oh, so sorry. Wow. How fun. I think this is my favorite purchase of the day. Okay, next up I've got some little hand towels. I love them. I'm gonna put it in my guest bathrooms. How cute, a little tree and a little bow. And it's like a, I wouldn't, it's not scalloped. No, it's just like wavy. a wavy edge. Yeah, I'm so excited about it. <gasps> Yum. I got this candle, chocolate chip cannoli. And it smells incredible. Oh. I'm so glad I got it. Yum, I want to take a bite out of it. Me too. I don't I don't love the little illustrations, but you know, it has to be. Done. It is what it is. I wish you guys could smell it. Oh, and also <laughs> She got a little guy. Wait, show them yours. <laughs> okay, I did buy one gnome thing. No, I bought two gnome things today. Did you? I bought these oh. cheese. This is a tree topper. <laughs> Look at the size of mine. <laughs> it actually is really large. <laughs> I have took a 0.5 insert here. And the last thing I got is this little spatchy combo. And it's got gnomes on it. And it says gnome for the holidays. Stop. I can't wait for Liam to come home and see what That's actually so cute. And that's what I got from TK Maxx. Oh, I got some socks. Yeah, they're fun. These are from Target. Oh, these are from Target. I just got these little guys. Very cutesy. We're doing a little content shoot. Content shoot on Thursday, and I have an image in mind that I want to recreate with those. I got a belt. Gorgeous. And we also got some snacks to try. We went into Easy Candy. Easy Candy. They sell like American candies. Just like ones that you don't find in Woolworths and Coles. Yeah. Do you want to try one of these? I love these. I don't think I've ever tried. Swedish fish. I think not big in Australia. I have a lot of, are these a lot like US? I think they are US. Cheers. Mmm. Mmm. Yum. I love the texture of them. Mm. They're good, hey? Really good. Mmm. That's like an 8 out of 10, I would say. Yeah, 9 out of 10. Mm. Mainly because I do love red. Do you choose, what color do you choose in like a bag of snakes? Probably red mm. or yellow. Yellow, mm. red, yellow, purple, green, orange. Are those all the colors? Yellow is like in the bin. Mm -mm. Orange is definitely in the bin. Well, you're incorrect, but <laughs> I love a yellow snake. Really? Like party mix yellow. Like I reckon I throw them out. Yellow, <laughs> orange. Yeah. Yellow and orange are not the same. Well, like Pete eats them. I'm like red, purple, pink. Yeah. Yeah. Are all top tier. Very and greens. Bad. Green. Mm. Mm. Do you know what I love? Mm. Green Sour Patch Kids. Anyway, maybe we'll do a little Kit Kat because surely this is similar to what we have. Mm. It just looks a little different. It's giving US to me. Like mm. ours just look a little different. And they're just like mini tiny little baby pieces. Little bite sized petite. <laughs> petite. Like why is that? So like. I think I'm going to love that. Yeah. Like, I just love a little small mini moment. Potentially stale. <laughs> the chocolate is not the same as the one we have here. No. And the wafer thing feels stale. Mm. Mm. That's not it. That's like a five. I agree. Five. That's just not as good as a normal Kit Kat. No. Give me a normal Kit Kat any day. It's a bit disappointing. Your turn. Okay, let's try these. Oh, do you think these are the things... Um, have you seen on TikTok when people get the big pickles? 
that they like <laughs> layer up with candy and toppings. Okay. One different for you. What the heck is that? Oh, what? Do you have to... I'm confused. We're doing it. You add that on top? I think so. It's a spaghetti sauce. Watermelon flavored hot candy strips oh. and tam tamarind? tamarind flavored sauce. No, that's disgusting, Lang. I'm not eating that. No, so you're going to try it. Native to Africa, but also grows in India, Pakistan, and many other tropical regions. No, I've seen this on TikTok. Unique sweet sour flavor. Go on. I don't, I'm, this is very questionable. Have you shown them what it looks like? I'm gonna give them a close up. That's, that is scary looking. Why <laughs> does it look like it's live worms? <gasps> I'm scared. I don't wanna eat this. I don't wanna do it. Just I don't wanna do it. Teeny bite. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> oh, yum. <laughs> I'm so scared. I don't know if I like that. <laughs> it's kind of sour and tangy. I like that. <laughs> it's the worst texture I've ever had in my mouth. <laughs> is it because it's like wet? Mm. Do you know what it is giving the texture of? What? Someone put this in their mouth, <laughs> <laughs> took it out, and then gave it to me. <laughs> I was gonna say like, after you've had spaghetti and the spaghetti's like in the drain and you have to take it to the bin. I'm gonna throw up. <laughs> You're trying to convince me you like that by describing it that way. <laughs> yeah, I like it. That's disgusting. Oh, I'll have it. No, it actually isn't like disgusting. It's just the texture. It's like the sauciness of it I'm not down for. I love that. That's for me. I think I'm gonna try these. Mm -hmm. Like, I've never seen these before. Maybe they're in Australia. Like, I don't know. But they're just like little beads that you eat, I guess. Tiny, tasty, chewy sweets. Oh, they're Zappo. Mm. Cheers. Oh, I'm obsessed with that. Are you just like a Zappo? Yeah. It's like a bite-sized mini tiny zappo. Yum! I love mm. those. I love them. I would give them a three out of ten. <laughs> yes. What would you Low key, like eight. <laughs> These, I think like a seven point five. Mm. I reckon seven. Because there's not like a whole lot of taste going on, flavor, but they're no, good. Like it's giving sugar. But I could eat that whole packet. Could you? Mm -hmm. Not a chance. They're kind of um Skittles vibes. Mm. Tiny itty bitty skittles. This is just, it's just called sour power. Do you like sour? Yeah. I mean, like, is it gonna be like warhead level or I don't like? Know. I guess we'll find out. It intrigues me. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, it is quite sour. I don't think it is at all. I'm not really getting a lot of sour from that. I really did. I think maybe I just can't hack it. I mean, it's yum. Mm. Nothing life changing. It's like six. Yeah, six and a half maybe. <laughs> Send a photo of that to. Got me and saw me. Just like, don't even, no explanation. <laughs> Just a close up of those noodles. <laughs> Take a photo of me holding it. <laughs> it's so close to your face. <laughs> Sending that to Gommy and Somi. This is what I'm probably most excited about. These are mm. Nerd Gummy Clusters. Um, very berry. Is this like Nerd's Rope but in clusters? Yes. I love Nerd's Rope. Me too. And I've never seen these before mm. in Australia. Destiny, I hope these are the ones that you love and you talk about sometimes because I've, every time you eat them, I just see them and they look so good. Look at that! Yeah, that looks so yummy! Whoa. Why are the nerds so little? I'm so excited. Whoa! Whoa! Isn't that crazy? It's giving like alien planet. Oh, I think oh. you're gonna like this. Cheers. Three, two, one. Oh my god. Ten. Mm -hmm. Yum! Oh! Another one, please. Put some sauce on it. <laughs> No, thank you. Respect my boundaries. Yum. So in top place, I'm going to give nerd gummy cluster. <laughs> then Swedish fish. Then the Zappo millions. Mm. Then just the sour strap because it was mediocre. Then the Kit Kat because it was under, below average. Mm. And then the noodles because they were... No. Pop contender oh, nerds. Absolutely. Swedish fish. Gorgeous. The noodles. Gorgeous. The Zappos. This, like, this was fine. It was good. We just, just like, like tried a million things like it. And then that's like it. Yeah. Thanks, guys, for coming along to our little show. Please let us know if you've tried these and what your thoughts are. No, putting sauce on lollies is just, I don't know, it just doesn't sit right with me.
Good morning, my sweet friends. I am getting into the festive spirit this morning, doing some Christmassy activities. I'm a wrapping girly. Like, I love cute wrapping. I love cute wrapping paper. I love making things personalized. I love putting a lot of effort and time into wrapping a gift. Like, I think it just makes it so special. So, this year, I was like, why not take it to the next level by making things with my Cricut? I don't know why I haven't thought about this before because I love my Cricut. I use it for a lot of different things, but I don't think I've ever used it for my like Christmas wrapping situation. So I've come up with a bunch of ideas. I've been Pinteresting. I'm gonna be using my Cricut Maker 3 today. I'm very excited. And I thought I'd just bring you guys along so that you can get some ideas potentially. I just love Christmas. And I think it's just such a fun little thing. So the first thing I think I'm gonna do is decorate these little bags. Obviously they're just very simple and very plain and I just wanna make them more personalized. I wanna make them more fun. So I've gone into the Cricut design space and I've picked out a bunch of images that they just like had, whoa, obviously we need to fix this up a little bit. Okay, I have my designs ready. I've got all my snowflakes. I've got some names because I think these could be a fun little addition as well. I'll show you what I'm gonna do with those in a bit. And then we have our gnomes. I'm so excited about this. Okay, so then we're gonna go to make. I'm actually not going to use a mat for this one because I have smart vinyl, which I've never used before. So we're gonna see how that goes. Nice, gorgeous. So I decided to go with the white vinyl. And like I said, this is smart vinyl. So I don't even need to put it on the mat, which I'm so intrigued to try this. Hopefully it works out well for me, but we will see. If I can do this, anyone can, because I am not someone who knows what I'm doing with this sort of thing. Ooh, okay, we're looking good. Watching this is always so satisfying to me. Okay, we're ready. Our Cricut has done its job. So I'm just gonna cut all of these out into like individual stickers just to make it a bit easier. I'm using this little Cricut weeding tool, which I find very, very helpful. And this is the part where you wanna get your little, what is this called? I wanna say like pressing tool, but I feel like that's probably not the right word. But you just wanna really make sure that the vinyl that you just cut out and weeded is really stuck to the clear side that you just applied, the transfer tape. And then you're just going to remove the white side. So you're just left with basically a sticker. Yay! Now I'm just gonna do that with all my snowflakes. How cute do they look? Okay, got our bag. I think I'm gonna start off with my little name tag. I think I'm gonna put it on the top left and press it down with my little tool and then carefully peel off that transfer paper. Gorgeous. Hey, now the snowflakes. Okay, this is actually turning out so cute. Ah! I'm gonna add a few more. So fun, I love how these turned out. I'm doing another DIY now. I'm going to make like customized, personalized ribbons to wrap my gifts in, but not only this, after the people who receive these unwrap their gifts, they can keep the ribbon and like wear it as a bow in their hair and it'll have something personal on it. And that just sounds so good. And I'm gonna start off with the gold iron-on material from Cricut. This is what it looks like. It's going to be so cute. I obviously put the shiny side down because that is what you have to do. This is what my design space is looking like. We are using smart iron-on. Oh, that is what I did forget. We need to make sure we are, this is the magic step when it comes to iron-on stuff, mirror. I'm so excited to see how this turns out. I think it's gonna be so cute. We're now in the kitchen because this is where I have my little heat press plugged in. And then I just have my heat safe mat. Now I'm just gonna peel the backing off. The cool thing about iron-on materials is that you don't need to use transfer tape. Oh my gosh, I think this is gonna be so cute. Okay, so here's the first one I have. It's just a little S. So I've got my ribbon laid out on my heat safe mat. Now I'm just gonna work out how I want these to look. I feel like this one will look really fun sideways. And then all you have to do is use your heat press to just kind of iron the letters onto the ribbon. And then all you have to do is peel off that top layer. Oh my gosh, that looks so good. I love that. Guys, look how cute these turned out. I'm literally obsessed with these. I feel like they, I don't know, I just wasn't expecting them to turn out this cute. So I'm very, very happy. I can't wait to wrap my gifts with these. You guys all need to do this. This is so fun. The last little DIY I wanna do is make some little gift tags. So I just found all of these 
on Cricut Design Space. Like when you go to the images section, you can like search up a bunch of things. I just searched up gift tag and these are the options that I kind of like saved, but there's so many other options too. Like they have so many cute little designs you can do. I just picked out a few of my favorites. So I've just made a few in a few different sizes. I'm gonna cut them out on some pink cardstock because I think that will look cute. So that's what it's looking like there. Looks good. Ready to go. Guys, these look so cute. Are you kidding? Now I'm just making some little vinyl stickers that I'm gonna add to some of the gift tags that I made. These are how the little gift tags turned out. I feel like it's so cute. Some of them I just left blank. So I can just write like to so-and-so from so-and-so, but still like really cute. But then some of the ones that are a bit more plain, I added some gold foiling to them. So I'm someone's like a nickname. Obviously Merry Christmas. And then Lang and Soph. I added these really cute little gold gingerbread men how gorgeous does that look in the light like i just thought that was really really cute and i can just attach those to their gifts once i've wrapped them i'm so obsessed with how my festive diys turned out i feel like they're all so cute and i also wanted to say a huge thank you to cricket for sponsoring this little segment of the vlog i have loved cricket for many years other things i use my cricket a lot for are hosting like Every time I host something, I almost always use my Cricut for some sort of DIY. I also have used it for not only my wedding, but for like many of my friends' weddings. Every time I have a friend that gets married, we're always doing some sort of DIY on the Cricut. And I feel like I'm just constantly finding like new things that I can use my Cricut for. Like the, the limit does not exist. So I'm obsessed with my Cricut machine. I love it so much. And I'm going to link Cricut down below for you guys if you want to check their stuff out. But yeah, I feel like I'm just such a huge fan. Hi friends, it's getting dark outside. I've just been like this all day. Tip tap, tapping away. But I just finished what I needed to get done. And I have a package open and I kept it. <gasps> wow. I just walked out of my office and this is what I see. How gorgeous. So magical. Um, I have a package to open and I kept it as a little reward for myself. And I was like, when I finish my work for the day, I can go open my package. And guess where it's from? Wildflower. They just came out with a bunch of new stuff and so I'm very intrigued to see what we have in here. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna cry. They wrote me such a nice note. What the heck? Oh my gosh. Thank you so much, Jack and Ree, if you're watching this. I love you guys so much. If you guys, for some reason, haven't heard about Wildflower, you must be living under a rock because I'm obsessed with them and I feel like I talk about them quite a lot, but they are a small Australian-based apparel and accessories lifestyle company they're based in newcastle if you live in or around newcastle like please go visit because they have an apparel store and a cafe like next to each other and i'm so jealous because i obviously don't live anywhere close to newcastle so i can't go visit so you have to go visit for me anyways but they've just come out with a brand new oh you're actually kidding me you're actually let me just show you what i just saw i opened the package to this no freaking way. No freaking way, guys. They're ornaments. <laughs> You're kidding. I love them. Gnomes. That's That can be for later. I'm obsessed with those. Oh my gosh. There's a lot going on here. We have some stickers. <gasps> Liam is going to be obsessed with this. <gasps> Look at this. It is a ceramic mug. Does it say wildflower on it? <gasps> it has a wildflower at the bottom there. That is gorgeous gorgeous they did these last year they were a different color last year but these are beautiful all of them are handmade so obviously they're a little bit unique like each one is a little bit unique i don't think they've launched these yet so keep your eyes peeled coffee and kindness that's so cute just like a little tray lee come look at these look at this I See. You like these? Yeah. For your coffee? They're fresh. Which t-shirt are you going to steal from me? <clears throat> We've got two t-shirts here. I wear a size medium, but so does Liam, so we kind of share them. So if you have a partner that you like to steal clothes from, these are a great, great option. Oh, the sun is really going down, so I'm sorry if the lighting changes throughout this. Ooh. Ooh. Do you like that one? Very nice. How good. I love that. This is what this one looks like. Like a beige color with a really subtle wildflower. I love the font. That's very you. Very cool. I love that. They're both very cute. And then lastly, this is a brand new product. I don't think they've done this before. This is a beach towel. But I think it might be like... Like it's a really interesting material. I think it... Uh, it's got some material that um... It's like... 
uh, sand, not sand free. But yeah, I think it like doesn't let you mm. get. How, what would you describe that as? I think they normally describe it as sand free. Sand free doesn't let the sand stick to it, but I love that. That's so cute. Oh, and a little pocket. <gasps> Is it zipped? Oh my gosh, you can zip it. You can put your keys in there and like go surfing. I don't surf, but you could. Thank you so much, Wildflower. I'm obsessed with everything. I'm starting to convert everyone in my life. Liam loves them. Lang, Soph, and George have all been converted as well, which I'm like, finally, you now get the hype. Because trust me, you get one t-shirt from them and you'll understand. You will understand what I'm saying. Liam said, <laughs> yes. <laughs> He said, I agree. <laughs> it is not even 6 p.m. I'm showered, my hair is washed. I'm in a comfy t-shirt and I have my burrito. If you guys haven't tried the chicken tenders from GYG, please do, they're so good. And specifically, if you really just wanna treat yourself like I did today, please try the chicken tender Cali burrito. It's just a Cali burrito, but it has the tenders inside. It's a game changer. I hate how much I love it because it's probably not very good for you but it tastes so good so i'm just living my best life right now good morning besties i am making brownies right now because i have friends mess tonight with a bunch of <laughs> my friends <laughs> and i said i would bring brownies and potato bake but i won't be able to make the potato bake until tonight like right before we go but i have a busy day today well it's not like there's a lot of things it's just like a couple big things that are gonna take up my whole day i think it's like 8 a.m right now 8 30. i just went out and got groceries for like all the stuff that i'm making my potato bake and my brownies came home i'm gonna try and make these and then i need to leave my house I need to finish getting ready and then I'm gonna leave my house at 10 a.m. Head to Lang's house and then Lang's gonna drive us to a studio that is on the Gold Coast where we're doing some content today, like content shooting. She is doing like a branding photo shoot, which I'm so excited to see. She's got like a professional photographer. I think it's gonna look literally incredible. Like I can't wait to see how her photos turn out. But because she had to rent out the studio for that shoot, she was like, oh, I have to, you know, rent it out for a certain amount of time. Do you wanna come and get some content while I'm there? Like while I've got the studio, like you may as well. And I was like, well, yeah. I I probably should. The specific goal today is to get some stuff for my reading Instagram, my bookstagram, if you will. I've got some ideas and I need some help to get the photos. So Bestie Lang, Mama Ja Lang is gonna help me get that content. It's like over an hour to Lang's house, half an hour from Lang's house to the studio, two hours at the studio, half an hour back to Lang's, over an hour back to mine. <laughs> so honestly, it's just a lot of time in the car today. And that's what is making it such like a time crunch kind of situation. And then I need to make sure I get home in time to make my potato bake because it needs to be in the oven for I think like an hour so I just need to be on top of my time management today but I'm excited for today I think it'll be really fun oh this brownie batter is looking phenomenal how good does that look and I'm just gonna add a little bit of extra chocolate I get a bit frazzled when I feel like I haven't got enough time for things. I think I have got enough time, so I don't know why I'm feeling like this, but it'll be a good day. It's just like a busy, busy time of year. Like, I don't think we have a free weekend until after Christmas. Like, we have stuff going on every weekend. We have friends miss tonight. I have a girls miss on Saturday with a bunch of, like, girlfriends. This will be so fun. I've got a baby shower next week for my sister-in-law. <laughs> I'm literally going to be an auntie, guys. Isn't that the craziest thing in the world? Like, I actually... I am so excited. I feel like I was born to be an auntie, so I literally cannot wait. And then the weeks after that, we just have a bunch of different family things going on for Christmas things and other various things going on. And then it's literally Christmas. So it's just a busy time of year, but that's okay. It's fun. I think I'm going to be making like three potato bakes in the next three weeks. So, oh, that's the other thing. I've never made a potato bake in my life. And for some reason, I volunteered to make one for a lot of people and I don't know why I did that because cooking for other people really stresses me out like I I love hosting as you guys know I love cooking for people I love having people at my house I love making people dinner I love making you know cakes and brownies and all of these sorts of things for people that I love I feel like it's such like an acts of service type of thing to do like I, I love doing things for people and I feel like cooking for people and like hosting people is such like a lovely way to be able to show my love for people however I just create this stupidly high expectation of myself where it has to be some like gourmet incredible meal when it really doesn't at all like literally no one cares I thought you know what let's make a potato bake even though I've never made a potato bake in my life so I've literally spent the past like three days researching <laughs> uh, 
literally researching all like the techniques and all of the best ways to make a potato bake because I'm so scared that it's gonna be bad. Like why have I done this to myself? Why don't I just make something I've made a million times? <sighs> You know when you're like cooking for a bunch of people and you don't exactly know what people like? So you're just like, okay, what is something that a lot of people would enjoy? I feel like potato bake is one of those things, so that's why I volunteered to make that. And now I'm like, why did I do that? That is looking Gorgina, if I do say it myself. Like I can bake. It's really like the cooking, like making savory like meals that really stresses me out. We're also doing white elephant tonight with my friends and I'm so excited. We did it last year and I gave a gnome I'm not doing that this year. I wish I was, but I feel like I probably shouldn't. Brownies are done. That looks pretty good. These need to bake for 35 minutes. Hey Siri, start a timer for 35 minutes, please. Gorgeous. Okay, now I can go finish getting myself ready. I did curl my hair. I haven't like fully done it. I just put it in a headband to keep it out of my face while I was like doing all of my other tasks. But I think I want to put a big bow in it for my content today. I also woke up this morning and I'm feeling I don't want to say it, but I'm going to say it. I'm starting to feel a bit sick and I'm terrified because I do not have time to be sick. So that is not fun nor fresh, but we're just going to hope that it might be like a, I'm just feeling a little bit sick and then it goes away. So fingers crossed. Now I'm going to go back to watching. I think the next line and I couldn't. I'm going to go watch Gary's vlog. I'm so excited. I feel like I'm like halfway through. And this is the first vlog they've updated while we've been overseas. And that basically means that if I get to watch a 19 minute vlog, I get to hang out with my besties for 19 minutes, which I will, I will take. So I'm excited to see what they've been getting up to. I mean, we've had some Snapchats and things like that, but there's just like nothing that beats a vlog. You know what I'm saying? Anyways, hopefully when you see me next, I will be looking brand spanking new. How are you feeling? Um, it's 52 degrees today. It's not. Um, with zero kilometer winds. Come say hi to the vlog. Hello vlog. Oh, hold on, do that again on first. Ready? Friday. You know how yesterday I was like, oh, hopefully I'm not getting sick. Well, I think I'm sick. Uh, I'm not like super, super sick. Like it's not the worst thing in the world. It's literally just a cold. But I just like don't really have any energy and I just feel very like foggy and groggy. And it's just not a fun time, but it could be worse. <laughs> we stayed out pretty late last night at Friendsmas, which also probably didn't help because I didn't really have a great sleep. So I I woke up this morning feeling so just like, oh my gosh, like literally just like lack of sleep type of groggy, you know, but then also just feeling sick on top of that. Not a great combo. What is good though is that today I don't think I have to leave the house and that is just the best feeling in the world. Like as a homebody, there is nothing I love more than just having a day at home and I mean like... It's lunchtime at the moment and I've spent all morning at my computer. So it's still been a productive day, like still getting things done, which is nice. But it's just, I don't know what it is, but the like knowing I don't have to leave the house today. I'm just like, I'm in my happy place. And this week has just been kind of busy and it's been really fun, but it's just so nice to have a day where I don't have to leave the house. Homebodies unite. Hopefully some of you know how I feel. But despite not feeling the best, like today is such an exciting day because it is December 1st. So it is like the official, official, official start to the festive season, which is just, 
It makes me so incredibly happy. And obviously December means Christmas, which is really fun. I also always take some time off in December from just like YouTube and stuff, social media, which is always just very like refreshing. Also Bookmas starts really soon. I'm not doing Bookmas. I've never done Bookmas. I don't think I'll ever do Bookmas. I mean, who knows? Never say never, but I love consuming it. I love watching bookmas, vlogmas, all the festive vlogs, like all of the fun content that people post in December. And I'm specifically so excited to watch Destiny and Sarah's bookmas. I don't know who else is doing it this year. I'll have to wait and see. But I literally cannot wait. I'm like genuinely so excited. Obviously, it's December 1st in Australia, but we're a day ahead of the United States. So their videos for me won't start till tomorrow, but I think it means like I'll wake up and I'll have new videos from them. So I'm just so excited. Also, speaking of like bookmas, like advent sort of stuff, let me show you something so fun. Guys, is this not the cutest thing you've ever seen? This is a homemade advent calendar that Soph made for me for my Christmas gift and I literally could cry at how happy this has made me. It's not even about the gifts, obviously, but the amount of like thought and effort that went into this... I could cry, I could cry. This is so sweet. She gave this to me the last time I saw her before she went overseas. If you don't know, Soph and George, two of my besties, are overseas right now. I think as we speak, they're in Paris, which is crazy. But the last time I saw her before she left, she gave me this and she's like, this is an advent calendar. It's like 12 days of Christmas. So she's like, you can either open it the first 12 days of December, the last 12 days of December, or like every second day in December until Christmas. And I think that's what I decided to do. So I did open my first one today. Let me show you what I got. It's a Christmas puzzle. Like, you're actually kidding. I'm so excited about this. You guys know I love puzzles. I love puzzles, and I've never had a Christmas puzzle. And I think Soph said she used to do it every year, or she does a Christmas puzzle every year, and I've never done that. So I'm just really, really excited. But yeah, I'm so excited about this. I think I'm going to start working on this. Yeah. Start working on this after I finish, like... I don't know, just like my work for the day and stuff. I'm trying to have like an in-between sick day and work day today. Like I have stuff that I need to get done, but I'm also trying to like take it as easy as possible because I know that if I don't rest, I'm not going to get any better. So I'm going to try and like take it slowly, but this is the little picture. It's like Santa's workshop and a bunch of elves. And on the back it says, can you find all 12 elves hidden in the jigsaw? I'm so excited. So waking up and knowing that I could open my first day of my advent calendar is just so exciting. And then Liam said to me last night, he's like, hey, what are you doing tomorrow night? I was like, I don't know, I haven't got any plans. And he's like, do you want to go out to the shops and each like pick out an advent calendar? I was like, this man used to be a Grinch and look at him now. I don't know if it's my influence. I don't know if he's just a changed man, but I am very happy about it. I'm very, very happy about it. Liam was very shocked when I told him that I like never grew up with advent calendars. Like I didn't start doing any sort of advent type things until I was an adult and I could like buy myself <laughs> my own chocolate advent calendar. Like I never had one growing up. And he was like, what? Because he grew up with them every single year. So maybe that's also part of the reason. He's like, you need to partake in this tradition. Like it is just a necessity for the Christmas season. So today is just like, I just feel so happy. I love Christmas. I love this time of year. It is busy, but there's just so many things to look forward to. It's so fun. I definitely think the lead up to Christmas is like 1 million times better than the actual day. I'm not going to lie. Like Christmas day, couldn't care less, but the lead up to Christmas, like absolutely. I think that's why I also love like celebrating a bit earlier, like putting up my Christmas tree in November, wearing Christmas pajamas and using my Christmas mugs in November just to like extend that like anticipation and that lead up. Like, yes, I know it's unnecessary, but it's fun. So like, why wouldn't you? You know what I mean? Anyways, I just love today. I think I'm going to make myself my midday coffee and just chill out for a second. I feel like this morning I woke up feeling pretty bad. And then once I like got ready for the day and kind of started my day, I started feeling a bit better. I was like, yeah, actually, like I'm feeling good. I can do this. And now I feel like I've kind of hit a wall where I'm like, ugh, I definitely feel sick. So I think I'm just going to take it easy. I've done most of the things on my to-do list, which is absolutely gorgeous. So I might be able to do some reading this afternoon. I haven't really done much reading this week. Maybe you start my puzzle. I could really take a nap though, I'm not going to lie. 
I think I'm gonna sit and do some reading while I drink my coffee. This is the book that I'm reading at the moment. It's called Whisper by Lynette Noni, who is also the author of the Prison Healer trilogy, which I feel like is pretty popular. I heard about this book a long time ago, but I would say I was like influenced to pick it up by one of my mutuals on TikTok, Emily. Shout out, Emily. She was raving about this. I think she gave it five stars and I've always been intrigued by it. Like every time I saw it, I was like, hmm. That looks very interesting, but I don't know if I'd heard any of like the people that I follow talk about it. Maybe I have, I can't remember. Anyway, it was already on my radar. And then when she was just like, everyone needs to read this book. It is so good. I think she said she like could not put it down. And I was like, fine, you've convinced me. I'm not like super far into it. I think I'm like maybe 80 or 90 pages in. It's definitely very like bingeable, which I really enjoy. I think I'm enjoying it more than I enjoyed the Prison Healer trilogy by her. That wasn't like my favorite. It's very, very different. It's, I don't even know what genre it would be. Is it like a dystopian kind of vibe? It's giving major Shatter Me vibes. Like there's a lot of similarities, obviously, a lot of differences too but it's really giving those vibes it's basically about this girl they call her jane doe because they don't know her real name she won't tell them but she is locked away in this government facility type of thing it's kind of like where they put i guess dangerous people and i don't know why she's dangerous like we haven't been told that yet i don't know when we will be told that but i'm assuming maybe she has some sort of like power something like I'm assuming it's not just like a contemporary like surely it's got some sort of magical or like sci-fi dystopian sort of element to it I don't know I'm just you know like hypothesizing here but it's first person so we're in our main character's head we know what she's thinking but again like we don't know her power we don't really know what's going on we don't really know why she's in this facility either and it seems pretty sketch like the facility itself like they're doing all these experiments on her and stuff and I that's obviously not the vibe um, and also she doesn't talk and I have like a theory that is related to that, but I don't want to say it just in case it is true and then it could be a potential spoiler, but I, I have thoughts about that. But yeah, I literally sat down like before bed two nights ago and started this book and I read like 80 or 90 pages in one sitting. Like it was so bingeable. So I'm excited to pick it up. I haven't felt the like desire to binge a book in so long and it just feels so good to sit down and just like binge. Like I've been reading like 20 pages here, 30 pages here, 10 pages there. I love just like sitting down and just like reading hundred pages like if the book is good just like sitting down and like binging it and I just like haven't found a book where I've wanted to do that in so long and so this just feels so good I feel like I've been pretty slumpy like I don't think it's the book's fault that I've been feeling like that like well maybe sometimes it is but like for the most part I think it's just me I am the common denominator and this book feels like it's getting me out of that kind of slumpish feeling so we'll see I don't know if it's necessarily gonna be a five-star book but it is like really interesting and intriguing so far and I just really badly want to know like what all of the secrets are there's so many secrets and I just want to know so a great recommendation from Emily thank you so much obviously I haven't finished it yet but so far so good <laughs> I've just been blowing my nose constantly so like all my makeup is rubbed off <laughs> around my face or around my nose at least but I'm about to have a shower hop into bed and read I've just been doing my puzzle for the last little while and while I was doing that I've been listening to an audiobook which is like one of my favorite activities to do just like puzzle and audiobook but the audiobook I've been listening to is Peter Pan by J.M. Barry which is obviously a classic like I don't know if it's like a legitimate classic but you know what I mean like a, a childhood story classic and I don't think I've ever read it I've seen obviously like the animated movie and like the live action is that what it's called the one with like actual actors but I've never read it and Jessa Hastings who is probably my favorite author is coming out with a new book very very soon like literally in a few days it's called never by jessa hastings and it is based on or it's like a reimagining of peter pan and she said if you want to kind of get the most out of it she would recommend reading jm barry's version of peter pan so 
I wanted to make sure I did that. And I was like, why don't I just listen to it as an audiobook? It's also a pretty short book. The audiobook is only five hours. And I think the book is like under 200 pages, like 170 pages or something. And so I decided to listen to it as an audiobook. And I'm so glad that I did because it genuinely feels like I'm a kid again and someone's reading me a story. Like someone's reading me a fairy tale kind of book before bed. It is so magical. The writing is so beautiful. Obviously, there are definitely some questionable things in it that obviously as an adult that I'm like, that is not really okay but those things aside it is just such a special magical story like it just feels very magical so I'm really enjoying doing this little I was gonna say reread I don't know if it's really a reread doing this little homework project <laughs> my assigned readings for Never by Jessa and I'm almost done with it I have one hour left of the audiobook because I've been listening to it on two times speed so it will only take me two and a half hours total so I might even finish this tonight I'm gonna have a shower and then get into bed and we'll see and if I do that means I literally will have finished my first book for December on December 1st which is stunning thanks Lee I just got delivered a fresh Stanley but I'm actually gonna end off the vlog here because it's long enough. I was editing it today and it's already very long. So I hope you guys enjoyed spending the week with me. I definitely had fun. It was a fun week. Busy week, fun week, good week. But I love you guys so much and I will see you guys in my next video very soon. Goodbye.